I've got a big thing about fashion in enterprise IT. I think that fashion matters a lot more than people think. So today I want to talk about fashion and changing the BGP protocol and how the two pretty much the same problem. There are a few people who, who agree with me that BGP is the best solution in the internet. It's, it's just not. Like, everybody knows it's not, but it's the solution it's have. It's not the one we want, and it's working. And, and I can kind of, look, I can go with that. It, it is what it is. You know, we can't change BGP, but at least we can admit that it's not the best income. It's like eating fast food. We know that if we have McDonald's all the time, we're just going to be sick. You know, it's not going to go very well. So what we really want is that is to get it replaced but the problem is how right i mean bgp is so bad that we actually have companies out there that watch the internet for inefficient parts they um monitor them they can tell you that your traffic that's coming from this point to this point is actually going through the worst possible path between two points not much you can do about it but there are other companies who actually work to route that traffic around the weaknesses of the internet backbone now think about that for a minute there's entire companies called content delivery networks that avoid your traffic traversing the background because the backbone's broken in part and also because of the speed of light but mostly because the backbone's broken if the backbone was faster and better maybe you could actually route traffic across it and we also have uh, a whole bunch of companies doing SD-WAN backhaul. So that's where you route the traffic into a pop. And then these companies have pops all around the world and they know how to route around the worst places in the internet to give you the best possible payload. And we're also seeing people do cloud data centers with distributed apps. And what, what I mean by that is they are, um, you know, putting the app in each location. So if you're going to have an app in a cloud data center, like an AWS or a Google, or whatever, you go and put it in a data center in Korea or Australia or London or, you know, wherever it is that makes sense for you to have with your people. So the tragedy is that BGP works okay. It actually works at all. So it's not broken. So nobody wants to fix it. So in this sense, it's like a 30 year old pair of jeans that you know it's worn out, but you can't bring yourself to throw them away because of, you know, all the lovely memories. Maybe you were a teenager and you remember wearing them in the car with your first girlfriend or maybe, you know, something along those lines. The, but let's assume that you actually realize that eventually these 30 year old jeans are just worn out and really wearing them in public is a heinous crime. The challenge is building a community around a new effort. If we could replace BGP, what would we replace it with? What would that take? And the answer is it needs a community of people to agree that BGP is broken and that whatever comes after, enough people have to agree to it so it becomes the fashion. Now, technically, there are dozens of ways to introduce a new protocol that would use much more modern technology. I don't think the problem is a technology problem. Um, we have lots of different ways of doing protocols. Now we have things coming out from different cloud companies that show you just how smart and how easy it is to do this thing, right? So the problem is creating a new fashion that everybody wants to copy, wear, and consume. How are we gonna do that? Now that's the value of the ITF to a lesser extent, the IEEE. Effectively, they are the Gucci, the Prada, the Vogue of the networking world. The people there create the fashions, right? What they do is in their back rooms, they're out producing their wardrobe for the next fashion week. And then they parade them down a catwalk to see if other people see what is so makes them so beautiful and how wonderful they are. And if enough people agree, then they go and jump on board and agree that this particular fashion is a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a worthwhile thing. And then go out and spend some money on those ideas. Okay. Effectively building a community around a particular technology. What you're trying to say is I need to build uh, a community around this so that enough people will come and join the technology so that it actually becomes a fashion. And the problem is, is that the ITF and most of the other standards bodies associated with enterprise IT are just inadequate for the current rate of change. It takes them too long to iterate and to put something on the catwalk. And not enough people are participating with the with the trend. If, if somehow it's got to break out from, you know, this, this uh, limited catwalk type idea where only the fashionista come along and see it. It has to get into a much more wider world. But, you know, like the fashion parades of New York and London, you know, where only a few people are allowed to attend, a few, you know, 50 to 100 people. The challenge is, is that building a community around that's really not working. So are there other new catwalks? Well, the cloud companies is one catwalk where um, you couldn't say that, you know, the, the big mega scale data center providers who've been doing disaggregation, driving merchant silicon, driving SDN, drive, showing us how you can do an automated cloud situation, which we're now sort of adopting in private cloud platforms and things like that. The question is, um, mostly they're not bothering to socialize it. They're not running them out on the catwalk. They did for a while back there, but they're kind of stopping now. They're not doing that so much, which is kind of strange, but 
you know, even now they're building private wines that bypass the internet. So they think that creating a community and building a fashion around this is so hard that it's just actually easier to build their own version of the internet. If you're building a private wine, it kind of proves my thesis that BGP and by, um, by extension, the internet is largely defective for all those people. The question I don't have an answer to is where's the next wave of fashions going to come from? Are we going to be left with the IETF producing, taking years and years to produce the next run of clothes, you know, this spring set, the spring capsule wardrobe that we're all going to be looking at, and that's going to take five to ten years to come to market? Or is there some other forum where it's going to come from? But I think the fashion metaphor works pretty well, because ah, I'm a fashion god. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Packet Pushers Moving Pictures Division. See you soon.